Hello and welcome back. I'm Faintly Saintly and this is Backpack Battles. And if you're not aware of this game, uh, there's been a free demo out in the market for, for a little while while they were testing things out and now it's finally being released into early access. The Backpack Battles is, uh, if you're at all familiar with uh, Backpack Hero, a very similar sort of gameplay with the addition of the PvP lot of things, which is reminiscent of Super Auto Pets. So imagine you combine those two games and this is what you get. Basically with this release, we've got some new classes and some of these are a bit, uh, there are some interesting design choices <laughs> in this game. Um, I was going through before and just checking out all the different, uh, basically wardrobe options. I believe the chibi option was like from an original release and I think they've probably changed that for a good, good reason. Um, but the new characters are the Berserker class and the Pyromancer class, in addition to the Ranger and Reaper, which were available in the demo. And these all have different starting sort of uh, backpacks and items. But today I think we'll try the Pyromancer. I played a quick game with the Pyromancer and uh, I thought it was pretty fun. So I thought we'll try again. We'll try a ranked game. Okay. So basically the idea is this is your backpack space here. You buy items, you stock them into your backpack, and uh, basically then you go into a battle with another person and uh, their backpack and see how you stack up. So a lump of coal combines with the fire. Also, this backpack is a fire pit. And uh, every time I enter a shop, it spends one gold to generate a flame. And at the start of battle, I get five maximum health for every fire item inside. So as you can see, there's two here. These will, uh, if it's next to that coal, it's that little blue line, that'll actually interact with the coal and turn it into a burning coal next turn, which is a benefit to me. Um, and we can buy some other things as well. You can buy a banana, which heals me and generates some stamina. Could buy another sword if I really wanted to. Um, or you can re-roll. I've got 11 gold, so I might just do that. Okay, so I'm going to buy another fire because more fire in here is better for me. I'm wondering if it's worth getting a shield, get a frying pan. I'll just roll one more time. Okay, another backpack is useful. And I want another sword. Maybe just to um, get some damage happening. But we'll start this battle and see what we're up against. Okay, up against a ranger here. There's a frying pan, stone, a lucky clover, and a broom. I'm running out of stamina here. Who's going to get this last hit in? That was pretty clumsy, but a win is a win. As you can see, that's the auto battling elements. So you just uh, all the things in your backpack interact as per their descriptions, and uh, it's just a little uh, fight to the death, basically. I'm going to. Can I sell? Yes, I can sell that sword. I'm going to buy a dagger because the dagger doesn't use stamina. Also, the dagger interacts with two flames and will become a molten dagger. I'm also going to get a lump of coal. How much money have I got? Five. I'll we'll roll one, so I'm going to get another lump of coal. And I'm going to get another flame. I'll move this sword out of here. And I'm going to do that. So all these coals will get ignited. Um, actually, maybe I should do that. Have the extra fire item inside the backpack. And I might reserve this so I can buy it next turn. Let's see how this goes. They have a shovel, a fly agaric mushroom, and a customer card. They might be building towards something, but I won that one pretty easily. Now we can see two flames are consumed to create the molten dagger. Oh, unfortunately, this lump of coal didn't ignite, but I'll get him next turn. And this coal, I can put it in the weapon. Gives me a chance to deal plus six damage and gain one heat. Or I can leave it in the backpack and after five seconds I gain two heat and cleans three debuffs. Because I've got a few coals going, I'm going to put one in. 
and uh, just hopefully get a bit more out of that. Uh, I've got nine gold. I'm going to roll once. Roll twice. I'll always take another coal, and I think I'll just get this backpack just to have it ready. And move this around freely, of course, so it will come in useful a bit later. Okay, against another pirate. What is this? A torch. Interesting. It's rare. 25% chance to gain one damage. Okay, that's a bit of a scaler. What's going on up here? Healing herbs. That will give them a bit of a boot, uh, buff. Oh, but I just snuck over the line there. Beautiful. Okay, frying pan. Plus two stamina. Deals extra damage with food in my backpack, but I don't have any of that, so I might not benefit from that. This stamina sack adds one maximum stamina, which is obviously used to attack. So I'm going to grab that one. Another fire. What are you pointing at? The thorn whip. There is blue trails. They mean that there's, an, there's a bit of a synergy there. So what I might do is I'll freeze this and I'll try and have a look at that next turn. I've only got four gold left here. So the question is, am I better off to put this in the sword or leave it there? But I think I'll leave it there. I am going to spin that around just to get another fire thing in the center backpack and get the benefit from that. I'm just going to start the battle as it is. Up against a berserker, I believe it is. Got a big hammer, a forging hammer, and a spiked shield. So these ones could be pretty tough. I'm generating heat, and that means all items in my backpack trigger 2% faster per stack of heat. Oh, wow, that was close. One health left. But we take those when we get them. Thorn Whip. So that gains a spike, which is like a, if you get hit with a spike, you do damage back to the attacker. And this does extra damage per spike. But, oh, that's a funny shape as well. So I might need to rearrange a few things to get it in. Flame Whip. If I have two flames next to it, I'll try and position it so that I can keep the flames in the backpack for the short term. There we go. Flame whip. So that'll upgrade at the end of the turn, which is nice. Pocket sand, box of riches. Gonna do that as well, get that in there. Um, and leave it at that, I suppose. Oh, I've got a high stamina usage now, though. That's going to be a problem. This whip is going to use a bit of stamina, obviously. But that's okay. Maybe. This Well, they start with armor. They've got armor, they've got shields, they've got a lot of armor here. So I haven't actually done any damage to them yet, which is a bit concerning. I'm going to speed that up a bit. Oops. We may get there in the end. Just, maybe. Yes, okay. Getting pretty lucky with these wins, but as I said, we take those. Okay, Flame Whip. On hit, use one spike to gain three heat and deal plus six damage. Legendary melee weapon, but I don't have any spikes to use. This doesn't generate spikes anymore. All items trigger. Yeah, okay. Still nice to have. But the stamina use is one a second, which is concerning. If I get this stamina sack though, a bit more stamina to play with. Um, what else will I do? So I need to look for something that will generate spikes. That removes spikes from the enemy. But it gets buffed if I have 15 heat, which is a possibility. Costs eight. There is another lump of coal. Also reserve that. I'm gonna put the orb in. What is that going with here? The broomstick. That's potentially good for me. I'll reserve that as well and just see what happens next turn. All right. Um, actually, before I roll, I'm going to take this off just to see how I fare because that's sucking up some stamina. I think I'd rather be attacking with the flame whip. Oops, wrong button. 
Give them a big whop for me. Alright, so another Berserker. Spikes, X, two bananas. Okay, she has spikes. This dragon took them off, which is nice. Okay, we're not really faring too well. They haven't even gone Berserk yet. There it is, and uh, first loss. So those ones can be tricky to fight. So, do I want to try... This won't fit anywhere. This takes up four rows or four slots. Um, how can I rearrange? Put that there. I'll put this next to it. Oh, you weren't pointing to the broom. You're pointing at the coal. That's disappointing. I don't know if I should keep that either. Wow, that was dumb. Fanfare. Potions, another backpack. Phoenix is interesting. Use all your heat before defeat to reincarnate with 10 health per heat once. All heat. Oh, sorry, all items trigger 2% faster. So on attack, lose 10 health. On attack, lose 10 health. That's interesting. Going to reserve that. I guess I'll keep the broom for now. I don't know how it helps us. It might just suck up our stamina, but it's there now. My mistake. Here's what it is. Oh, these guys have lots of fire, lots of. They've got some chili. Got this fella. Okay. It's an interesting build. They have a clear stamina advantage, but hopefully I can now damage them. Yes. Okay. That burning coal has been ignited. I'll put that in. The whip. It's in a weapon. On hit, there's a 12% chance to deal plus 6 damage and gain heat twice on the whip. So that's pretty good, I think. Now, every three seconds, use one minute again to heat. Well, I don't get mana, so that's probably not going to help me. Cryomancer, gain 15 defense for each ice item. Five heat gains inflicts to cold. For each cold of your opponent, the diamond item, which is the item that is right above this in my backpack, has 2% extra crit chance and 2% extra critical damage. Ice items are now offered in the shop. I don't mind that. I think I'll grab it. Now we've got two phoenixes. That's interesting. How does that work? If they want to sell. You too. What sort of space do you take? Right. Thing as well. How am I going to wrinkle this, do we think? Uh, with some difficulty, apparently. Another little backpack there that might help. So, on attack, I lose 10 health. Before defeat, I use all my heat to reincarnate with 10 health per heat. I mean, that, that's potentially dangerous, but potentially good. Okay, and I need to fit this in somehow as well. But there... The fire... It's an ice item, so that shouldn't go in there. It should go here, maybe. Doesn't do much for us just yet, but we'll see. Phoenix is really interesting. What have they got? Poison Goobit. Interesting. Still, I damaged them, so that's good. Wolpertinger. 
increase base stamina re regeneration by 0.7% for each buff you have. Every 5 seconds, gain 3 of the buff you have the least of. Triggers 15% faster for each adjacent pet. This seems ridiculous. Every 5 seconds, gain 1 heat and heal 5. When you have 10 heat, cleanse 1 debuff. Okay, so I definitely want a chili. Kind of want that as well, but... How's that going to fit in anywhere? I kind of also want to try to get another Phoenix. Can I, oops, can I imbue that from the Phoenix? No. I'm going to buy the chili for now. Pop another fire in. Gloves could be useful. That will definitely be useful. I'm going to use that. I have to put that there. That means for each cold on the opponent, this item gets plus 2% crit chance and critical damage. And I inflict cold when I get 5 heat. Okay, seems reasonable. Let's see how we go here. Low stamina usage, which is great, because the dagger doesn't use stamina, neither does the phoenix. I'll have to click off that. See how this goes. That's a, what is that? A shaman mask. Moon armor. He's got some high level stuff, I think. Come on. Yes. Hey. So far, so good. Really like to get this phoenix out as well. Might be pushing it because that's just such an odd shape to fill, isn't it? Grab that for now. Let's put that out of the way. Ice armor. Side of battle gained 45 armor and inflict 4 cold. Every 5 seconds, use 1 heat to inflict 2 cold and gain 10. That'll be really good, except I need these guys to use the heat, not this. I think I do want another chili though. I'm going to pop this chili here. They're both in this little bag, which gives me a 10% faster trigger. So these guys both benefit from that. I'm going to start the battle. I'll save that gold. What is going on? A frozen buckler. Heart container. This is a very interesting build. But Phoenix is doing some good work for me. I thought it would actually kill me, but it's... Certainly, uh, holding its own. Ocean belt, just a a long backpack extension, and the potions in there get a little buff from that. Ice dragon. Wow. Okay. Save you. One more roll. Leave it at that. Might be better off getting the dragon in than another phoenix. There's so much going on here. Dusk poker. When it gets to this stage, I can't even keep up. I just <laughs> roll with it. There we go. That's my 10 wins. So like super auto pets, you get your 10 wins and you finish. Now the difference here is I can take the win and get plus 30 to my ranking. Or I can go into survival mode. If I survive 18 rounds, which there are 7 left my ranking could increase from between 18 to 50. So I could go up by less, but I could go up by a lot more. I don't really particularly care about my ranking. Um, I'd rather just take the win, I think. So I will. Ranking change plus 30. Okay. And I got a bonus. So trophies and some increase in my ranking for the Pyromancer. Easy as. There you go. That's a first look here on the channel for Backpack Battles. I might play a bit more of this over time as well. If you're interested in checking this one out, I'm going to put a link to it to the Steam page on my in the description. Um, and it's definitely worth yeah, having a look. But I will leave it there. Thanks for watching. If you like this and would like to see more, consider subscribing. It would help a lot. And then it will keep you up to date when I release new videos. 
and uh, feel free to leave any feedback or game suggestions in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to every single one of you. But thanks again, I'm Faintly Saintly, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.